Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, please stop judging me because I choose to be single. So this question is from Amy, so I'll read you what she wrote to me. Dear Cyber Sue, I'm a 38-year-old woman with a successful career. I've been in a few long-term relationships, but I've since decided that I wish to remain single. I travel a fair bit and have an amazing group of friends. Unfortunately, my colleagues, family and friends push constantly to set me up on dates. They make daily comments saying they don't believe I choose to be single. I have been judged about my choice for years now. Why can't people just accept that not everyone wants to commit to having a life partner? I absolutely love this question because it's true. So many people have made a choice that they decided they just want to do their own thing, not to have to answer to anybody, enjoy their life, come and go as they please. There's nothing wrong with this, but so many people think that they're just faking it, that they really truly want somebody, but because they're not meeting somebody, they're playing the other side of the fence. I don't believe that with everybody. I think sometimes when we've been hurt and we're angry about our past choices with certain relationships or maybe some dating scenarios that we're in that didn't work very well, you might have a bit of a jaded opinion for a while and you're saying to yourself, is this even worth it? Why bother? But in Amy's case, she truly wants to be single. She's tried the other way she doesn't really enjoy it. She enjoys her freedom in the sense of coming and going when she pleases. I'm not saying that you don't have freedom in a relationship because if you're with the right partner, you, you absolutely do. So a lot of people look at relationships as it's the end all be all. And if you're not in love with somebody or have somebody that loves you, that you're not complete. Well, this isn't really true for everybody. Today, we have so many choices that we can make. We have options coming out of it everywhere on things that we can do. We have bigger groups of friends maybe than we have before. And when you're single, you tend to have a few more friends that are you know, around that you can do things with because that, those are the people that you choose to have in your life. And so what happens, there's not a lot of lonely times because you're busy, you're busy in Amy's case, with her career. She has a very intense career that she loves. She makes decent money. She doesn't want to rely on anybody. She doesn't want anyone to rely on her and she really enjoys her life. The bigger problem for her is not because she chooses to be single, it's because people don't believe her and don't allow her to continue having that choice. So she's constantly being set up. People are driving her crazy constantly because they're always saying to her, come on, you can't be like this forever. There's somebody, I've got this person for you. I want you to meet them. You have to really respect your friends, your family, if, if it's a sister or your daughter or whatever in this case, you have to respect their wishes here. They're not pretending. They're not angry or, or upset that they're single they really enjoy it. So I really want people to understand that not everybody has to be in a relationship. It, it certainly isn't for everybody. Sometimes it's just really nice to be able to move around at your own pace, go where you want, not have any sort of boundaries in a sense because you're you're living for yourself and not for anybody else and because she doesn't want children another reason for her she's saying well why you know you don't have to have children to be in a, in a committed relationship but she is finding when she's being set up with people that they are looking for children and so that can be a problem too because she goes out on a date and she's maybe wants to be casual but people are looking for more because that's what most people want, but not everybody. So if your friends or your family are bothering you constantly about you being single, sit them all down, have an interve intervention with them and tell them to butt out that you're really happy. Just find a way to convince them that you just, it's not because you're angry at the world and you just want to be by yourself. 
You enjoy everybody else's company, but you don't want to be in a life committed partnership with somebody. And that's okay. So please stop setting people up if they don't want to be meeting somebody. And it's also not fair on the people that you're bringing, like somebody bring them towards Amy because she's not interested. So it makes them uncomfortable. So please listen to what your friends say. A lot of it isn't a bunch of BS. It's really what they want. Honor it and don't judge them. It's not your place to think there's something missing in their life because they don't have somebody that they love to that degree. There's all types of love. There's love from animals. There's love from friends and family. It's not always about having to be with a life partner. So let's let's just respect our our friends' wishes and really stop judging people because they're single. There's nothing wrong with people who are single. It's not because they can't meet anybody. It's because that's what they choose to do for the most part. Just let people live their lives. Be there for them as a friend. If they w one day say to you, okay, you know what? I've decided I wouldn't mind meeting somebody. You'll be the first to know. Just love them as a friend or as a family member and let them live their life the way they choose to. Thank you so much, Amy, for writing in about that. I think that's a great topic because a lot of people are choosing to stay single and there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of things you can do when you're a single person that sometimes you can't do in a partnership. You can't be always as spontaneous. And when people travel a lot, it's really great that they can just pick up and go without having to worry that they're going to upset their partner or their partner may not be able to come with them. All these things go into the scenario. So please just honor somebody's wishes and let it go. Thanks so much everyone for tuning into Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please leave your comments. Let me know if this has happened to you, how you handled it. And please leave any show topics you have for me because I'm always looking for new topics. Thank you so much everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.